Now that you learned a little bit about microcontrollers and Code Composer Studio, we're going to take a closer look at some of the components of the C programming language that you can use in your program. We're going to start with the for loop. For is actually one of the instructions or command words in the C programming language. To help it stand out, Code Composer Studio will accentuate for and other C commands by making them bold and purple. You will do the same in our course materials. The best way to understand for loops is to see an example. Here, we'll use a tool called a flowchart to show how a for loop works. The for loop begins by initializing a control variable. In this example, the control variable is called count, and it is initialized to have a starting value of zero. This means that the program is reserving space in the microcontroller's memory that it is calling count, and it will initially have a value of zero. Next, the for loop will test the control variable to see if it meets a specified condition. In this example, we test the control variable count to see if it is less than 10. If there ever is a time where the control variable does not meet the specified condition, for example, count is equal to 10, then the for loop is done and the program will move on to the next instruction. In this example, however, we just initialized count to be equal to 0. Therefore, count will be less than 10. The for loop then allows the microcontroller to continue on to do something inside of the for loop. For example, to toggle the red LED light. Next, the for loop will do something to update the control variable count. In this case, the value stored in the count variable is increased by 1. Finally, the for loop returns to test the control variable against the specified condition. Here, we see the for loop instruction that implements our example. Everything that actually initializes and controls the for loop is in the top line. Everything we want the microcontroller to do while the condition is true is enclosed in the curly braces. Just remember, the for loop is an instruction in the C programming language that lets you do something, like toggling an LED, a specified number of times. In the attached notes, we review the basics of the for loop in the C programming language and show you a couple more examples. Take a look and come on back for our next section where we will talk to you a little bit more about flowcharts.